What's up everybody? It's Jeremiah with ADS Sprinters and today we are in the newest adventure van off our lineup. This is a 2020 Mercedes Sprinter 144 four-wheel drive. This one is called the Schwartz. Um, you'll notice kind of roughly this thing is based around the bolt. It is slightly different with the way it's laid out. As you see, I'm on a side-facing bed seat here. This does pull out into a small dog or a child bed. We have the Trimax bed set up in the back the same way that the bolt does. Uh, the kitchen set up a little bit different. We've actually swapped the location of the, the sink and the cooktop. It gets the cooktop closer to the, the fresh air outside, so if you're cooking, you're not making a lot of smells and stuff inside the van. On the side of our kitchen cabinet, we have a flip-up countertop extension. When that's up, we have a lot more usable countertop space for maybe setting a pot or a pan, maybe some dishes that need to be uh, cleaned, we can go right here. We have a glass top lid for our cooktop. Um, that's nice because it's a usable backsplash. Uh, while you're cooking, so any greases and stuff aren't gonna make a big, big mess over the back of the countertop. They're gonna stay more, more contained inside this cooktop. This one's a bit unique because we've actually swapped the location of our sink and our cooktop. So this has given us more usable space right off of the bed. So we're not as claustrophobic right out of the bed. We have a little more space to stand here, maneuver around, and also to open this shower. The Schwartz does have a fully enclosed shower structure. In the back, we have a, a ProWare 12 volt air conditioner. This is a 22,000 BTU AC unit. Uh, so when you're plugged into shoreline or the engine running, this is gonna give you, you know, ample air conditioning power. If you're running just off your batteries, this, this fan's got about a 200 amp hour lithium battery bank. This will give me about uh, an hour and a half to two hours of runtime just off the batteries alone. So generally that's gonna be good enough for you going out to dinner and leaving your pet in the car. Um, or anything you want to do just to kind of keep this car not so hot when you return to it after a small uh, adventure. And we have under cabinet lighting. This fan's also composed of all FRP paneling, so it's nice and bright, and the light bounces around very nicely in here, so it makes it feel a lot more spacious and open than the van actually is. Built into the base of the Trimax bed, I have a 22 gallon water tank. I have a usable countertop surface that runs along the length of the flare. So there'll actually will be another bed cushion that goes over this when we're in bed mode, but otherwise when we're just set up for daily use, that cushion can come off. I have a finished countertop surface here. This van has a Viair air compressor setup underneath the van. So it's a dual compressor setup, which pumps up incredibly quickly, uh, which is perfect for airing up tires after off-road adventure, airing up maybe some stand-up paddle boards, bike tires, um, really whatever you need to with uh, compressed air. You can also get an air nozzle and kind of brush out the inside of the van. So that's super uh, handy there. And we have hookups for our outdoor shower here as well. One unique part of this van is actually this Van Compass storage box here. So this van is gonna eventually get a spare tire on the back door. So we had an open space here. So we opted for this Van Compass storage locker. So this storage trunk here is a good spot for maybe some recovery gear um, or some other items that you might not need to get to all the time, but still wanna keep on board with you for your adventures. On the other side of the Trimax bed, we have open storage space up top and we have L-Track along the wall as well as on the floor. So that gives us plenty of storage solutions and tie down points for any gear that you might have. On the outside of the Schwartz, we have a Sierra Lawrence T-Vent style window in the sliding door, as well as a driver's side forward. We have a nice size flip down table outside. So if you want to bring like a portable cooktop or set up a glass of wine, whatever you want to outside of the vehicle, you have a nice uh, countertop to do that. We have our own in-house fabricated solid side step. This is completely all aluminum. It's got a nice sturdy base to stand up and get into the vehicle. Um, and it's a very wide step. So that's gonna keep the van off of any obstacles, keep any shopping carts from hitting the side of the van, um, and give you a really a nice, stable, sturdy, and reliable step to get in and out of this van. On the driver's side of the van, we have what's called the shorty side step. So this step does not extend all the way down the body of the van. It's just for the driver's door. So it's a, a little bit more cost-effective way to still get a step up in, in and out of the van without necessarily matching the other side as far as aesthetics are concerned. One of the key features of the Schwartz is the ability to really function as a, an office away from your office. So it has provisions for a lagoon table right here with our flip-up table here and our civil bases, as well as our WeBoost cell phone booster. Um, we really can have a comfortable working space with ample coverage and reception wherever I go on my adventures. If you're curious to see more about this van in particular or any other vans we've done, feel free to go over to our website, adsprinters.com, or check us out on our socials, Instagram and YouTube, to see this van and other vehicles just like it.